Absolute madness, guys, trust me. But before we start, for today's video, I've teamed up with BOTB, the dream car competition company, and they're giving you guys a chance to win a brand new Volkswagen Golf R. Tickets start from just £1.65. All you need to do is head over to BOTB.com and play the Spot the Ball Challenge. If you pick the right coordinates, you win the car. Guys, it's that simple. If you're not into golf bars, we've got up to 150 different cars to choose from on the website. Tickets for those start from just 85p. You only need to be 16 to enter, and you can play from anywhere in the world. The best thing is, they give away a guaranteed weekly prize. So guys, hit the links in the description, and who knows, if you win, you could have your dream car sitting outside your house by next Tuesday. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> So what's going on guys? My name's Jamie, welcome back to Officially Gas. Now today we're back with another review. This time it's in the form of a 500 brake horsepower Golf R32. This thing's supercharged guys, loads of modification. This is just gonna be nuts. So stay tuned and let's get it. Thank you, bro, for coming down with your uh, supercharged beast of an R32. Um, like we were saying before, I, I literally am quite naive to these R32s. I haven't really, I've never been in one. Um, I've heard them roaring around, sound crazy. <laughs> I've actually heard this, this sounds nuts. But as far as kind of the inner workings and what it takes to get to 500 brake horsepower, I don't have a clue. So do you want to kind of talk me through exactly what's been done to this? You were saying it's it's a fully built engine, right? Yeah, yeah, it's fully, fully built, but yeah, obviously the main component is the two which yeah, are yeah. uh, Rotrex C3891 yeah yeah it's one of the biggest ones I've, I believe I think there's so, so there's, there's actually one. different levels to yeah, how big different, you can different different sizes oh really this was the biggest one is I believe there's now a C38R they've brought out okay okay we'll cool. see what happens so you've had this obviously from stock yeah I had it I had this like nearly six years now. no way so you so, so, so it's a complete different beast to as when yeah, you bought so it right you bought it completely stock literally nothing on it at all no way and then yeah Big went had maps and had exhausts, got the full meal tech. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then yeah, obviously thought I oh, need a bit more power. <laughs> they went down the supercharger route. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's, it's good. And and who's your tuner? Storm Storm Developments, yeah, is it? The boys at Storm have done a fantastic job in this. Can't uh -huh. can't reach them enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um yeah, Cyvex ECU as well, there's all tuned by them. Oh so it's got the Cyvex ECU, yeah. yeah Standline ECU which pretty much does everything, can do all the drivetrain. DSG, Haldex, engine, everything pretty much. It's pretty it's okay. worth it, I'd say. Okay. And yeah, the engine's completely built. Yep, yep. Built by Storm as well. What What's the, um, you yeah. say it's completely built. Um, when it when it comes to um, these running on stock engines, do people charge these and turbo these on stock engines? Do they last or is it a must that you have to kind of... Well, if you're going to go past 400, I'd probably need at least a, a spacer plate, to be honest. But okay. if you want to make it even more safe, then... Yeah. yeah, you need to start doing pistons, especially on the Mark V. I think the Mark IV is a bit stronger. Okay, because it's actually the same engine, am I right in saying it's the same engine in the Mark IV? Pretty, pretty much. Like, I think the few bits are stronger in the Mark IV, like the crank. I've actually got the Mark IV crank in this. Okay. it's stronger than the, no than the Mark V. So you have went all out with it, pretty got much. Got 36 shells. Okay. And everything else in there. Yeah, it's got cans. It's uh, It's had the works. It's pretty It's pretty sorted, to be fair. Yeah, the engine will be able to take whatever I throw it, I think now. Really? It's pretty... And, and, and we were speaking off camera again, talking uh, about a few things. You're running um, a, was it a Mark IV fuel rail? And no, I, I, that's, that's next. I've got a standard Mark V. Okay. But yeah, so it's the fuel, it's not really, the fuel pressure's not where it needs to be really. Okay, so, okay. But yeah, I've got, the, I've got the fuel rail. Just need to get it, need get to it plumbed on. in with my bigger intercooler and then the sky's the limit really. <laughs> well, what my DSG box can take. So. Okay, and of course all the DSG internals are stock I'd imagine still? Yeah, well, obviously the, the Cyvex works with the DSG box, but as far as mapping and software it's it's standard. Had a, a map on the DSG box from uh, Stealth, which is pretty good. Yep. And um, yeah, I, I think that's pretty much stayed on there, but the, the Cyvex just 
communicates with it and just makes it work better. Yeah. So no issues in it? No, I think, no. yeah, what, after, after we put the fuel rail in the inner cooler, yeah. it would just be a case of what it can take, either <laughs> uprate the clutch packs or go for a DQ500 box, yeah. see what. And what kind of power would you be looking at then? Because we were talking be big numbers, 600s, right? I'd be in the probably. Jesus quite, Christ. Well, I know the car I bought this off was about 630, and that was pretty much the same spec as this, but wow. obviously with the fuel rail and the other bits. Yeah. So I know the power is is there. The engine will take it. It's just, as I said, if the SG-Bots can take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course. So um, as far as um, suspension and so on and so forth, I can see this is sitting quite low. What have you done to it? Uh, ST coilovers. Pretty much KW. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, fully coilovers. adjustable and all that. Yeah. yeah. Fully adjustable. Yeah. Pretty good. Got uh, eye back anti roll bars. Okay. Uh, quite a bit of the bushes underneath are done. Uh, a lot of work. <laughs> uh, Fibrotechnic engine mounts. They quite improved the handling a little bit more than you'd expect. Really. Okay. Cool. And you're uh, sitting on some uh, big uh, discs, I see, and and, and uh, calipers yeah, at I've the front. Yeah, got the Porsche 996 TT. They look uh, fresh. Calipers, four pots. But yeah, I think eight pots be coming up in the future. Uh huh. But we'll see. Sick, sick. All right, bro. Well, yeah, no, I think that's it. Um, let's get out, eh? Yeah, man. Wicked. That's <laughs> All right, guys, so we're finally out in the uh, R32, and bro, when you were revving that, wow, <laughs> this thing sounds like a beast. You, you said it has got a, a limitation on the um, on, on, on how much you can control, rev it. Yeah. It's because of the launch control, right? Yeah, it's, it's locked in launch control mode. So okay. For some reason, for keep it safe, I think. And bro, you you were telling me no, it don't sound that good because it's, it can only rev up so high, bro. And it goes, you literally like... rev to like three and a half k, and that's literally it. Bro, I would hate to hear that from full chat being at the back, bro. bro that is it's, crazy. it's crazy, man. No, that's nuts. That's nuts. It's crazy. Um. So yeah, bro, like. <laughs> I want to know, I, I, I want to try and get in people's heads and I, I want to know why you've kind of arrived at the point you are now with a supercharged R32. What's, what's your car history like? Where, well, I've had this for like six years. Long time, <clears throat> Before sorry. that, I'm going to laugh, an MG. No, ah, oh, no. completely Take different away, to this. Bro. I mean, like, <laughs> and, um, an MG. Yeah, ZR, like oh, okay. 60 things, or, oh, okay. to be fair. Okay, fair play. No offence to MG only. <laughs> yeah, no offence, man. <laughs> so what's, what's, what's this like, bro? What, what is this car like to drive as a... This isn't your daily, is it? No, well, only up until probably six months ago. I, I dailyed it for about, yeah, five years. <laughs> and obviously boost, boosted it. Yeah, how long has like, it been boosted, so? Uh, October last year. Okay. Uh, 2017, we're in 2019 now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so like a year and a half, really. Yeah, and basically, um, in the Mark V, this was the, literally the last big engine that VW's yeah, done VR6. in the Golf, isn't yeah, it? Um, so, they are special. And uh, again, this is the first time I've ever been in one, but I hear these, like, you know, you hear them at the meet. Woohoohoo! you not messing around. Wow. Wow, this gets off well, doesn't it? <laughs> Jesus. Ha 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 ha! 
maker, bro. <laughs> bro, this thing, bro, this, this, go, you could go from zero to death very quickly in this if shit went wrong, innit? Well, the thing is, it's, it's a very well built motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, no, it's, it's, it's solid. It's solid. It That's the solid. Thing. And the way when you're taking these corners, bro, it's just sticking to the road and applying the power, bro. Man. It's funny. It is a funny motor. So, as promised, we're safe and we're possible, not to 60s. So we're about to see what this R32 can do. I think it was because we rolled a little bit first, but that was a 5.98. Drive, supercharge, wow. Yeah, probably got small legs, mate. <laughs> Me and you both. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably recommend to drive it in manual. Drive it in manual, drive yeah? Drive and flick it over, yeah. Well, right. I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's pretty much what the majority of the mapping's been. Yeah? So custom, drive that's how I yeah? drive it, yeah. Drive on the paddles. All right, you're testing me now, bro. Oh, f***ing yeah, hell, the problem sharp. Man. Bro, <laughs> let me just stop right now. <laughs> I touched the throttle. Bro, like a tiny bit, and we've, oh my god. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my god, bro, I'm barely to, oh my god. Bro, the throttle response, I've never felt anything like this. This is unreal. <laughs> this is crazy. Well, I don't know, it's just because I'm used to it. For you, bro, right now, this thing feels like 
This could kill me. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. This car, bro, this car, thank you. No, thank you for letting me drive it, man. Alright, this is a weapon, <laughs> guys. 500 brake horsepower, supercharged, 3.2 litre golf. Come on, man. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in heaven right now. This has been <laughs> sick, bro. Definitely having you back on the channel. Um, guys, look, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Go and check some of my other content out too. I'm sure you like that. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out. Thank you.